this video on the Smart PSS software, I'm going to show you how you can set up the tour and task to run through on the live view if you want to look through certain camera views. So first we're going to go down here to configuration. Now note this is on the new page of the Smart PSS main menu and we're going to open up a tour and task tab. This is going to bring us up to the tour and task interface where we can add or delete a plan. In this uh, video we're going to show you two separate examples of what you can do with the tour and task setting. The first one is going to be a very, very simple four camera grid view and we're going to have the cameras kind of alternate between one another. So we're going to click add. This is going to be the outdoors task plan. We're going to add a task here. Now keep in mind this plan is what you can run on the live view screen. You can only run one plan at a time. So here we have a task. We're going to name this view 1. And in this view we're going to have this camera, the IPC 4K 18 BMZ. We're going to have it be on the left hand side twice. And then on the right hand side we're going to have the IPD 401 twice. As you can see we have one channel here for each and down here you can see which channels you have selected for that particular camera on this particular task for the grid you have. So as you can see on here we have the IPC 4K 18 BMZ on the left hand side here and the IPD 401 on the right hand side for both of these spots on the grid. And then we're going to go ahead and just save this task as view 1. We're going to create a new task called view 2. And in this view two, we're going to have the camera swap sides. Now keep in mind, this can be customized any which way you need it to. If you want it to cycle through a camera to be full screen, if you need it to cycle through a camera on these custom splits, um, again, the sky is the limit for customization here. This is just an example to get you started. And again, in our first two view, we had the IPC 4K 18 BMZ be on the left hand side. So on this one, we're going to have it be on the right hand side. So we'll do the same for the IPD 401 only on the left hand side. Then we're going to save this as view 2. Now we've completed our first plan that's called outdoors. View 1, view 2. Now to test this plan we're going to click the plus button at the top. It's going to take us to the main menu again. We're going to go to live view. And then down here we see a save button. This is our plans for our tour and task. And then we have a play button and we want to start the tour for outdoors. So we'll click start tour. It's going to feed us the substream because that's what we've selected on our task. And here we can see we have the IPC 4K 18 BMZ twice on the left hand side. And after 10 seconds, the cameras have switched. Now we have the IPDE 401 on the left hand side. And you can certainly customize the time that you want these to appear to. Right now we have it set to a quick 10 seconds just for this video. And we can come down here and stop our task and right click and close all videos. It's going to just close these streams so it doesn't interfere when we try to set up our next tour and task. So now we're going to create a, a new plan and it's going to be called 8 channel cycle or whatever you want to name it. In this one we're just going to demonstrate another way that you can have these channels set up in a plan. So we're going to click the plus button here. It's going to bring us to our groups of cameras in NVRs again. And again, we're just going to use these two cameras for a reference. And this gets a little more complicated down here. Instead of using a four camera grid, we're going to go through a couple of the options here. Again, the defaults four camera grid. We have a nine camera grid, 16 channel grid, and then a whole lot of different options in here, um, you know, such as a one camera being large and a seven grid view. And again, this is there's no limit to customization here, even a, a 32 channel grid view and so forth. But for this particular one, we're going to focus on this grid right here, which is a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight channel cycle. So we're going to bring in the IPC 4K 18 BMZ. It's going to be our first large channel. And then we're going to sprinkle these cameras throughout kind of in a staggered fashion here for our eight camera cycle. So first, in our first task here, this is gonna be cycle one. 
and then the IPC 4K 18 BMZ is going to be the large camera for cycle one. So we're going to save that and then create a new cycle. As you can imagine, we're going to want the IPDE 401 to be the main camera here. And then we'll sprinkle these throughout again. In a staggered fashion to kind of keep that cycle um, going. And then we'll save this as cycle two. And for example here, since it's just two cameras, the cycles, if we were to add cycle two through eight would obviously look the same since we're only cycling between two cameras and this is just an example again you're going to want to kind of play with these settings yourself figure out what tasks you want to do which tours you want to do if you want to do cycles if you want to have this you know you could add a, a third task to this and have it go to a four camera grid view again the, the sky's the limit for customization so we just want to test out our eight camera cycle now so we're going to click back on our live view and down here you can see that currently selected is our outdoor plan, our old plan. We want to click this and select our new eight cycle plan. So we're going to click that, we're going to click play. It's going to bring that up to the eight cam camera grid view. And in about 10 seconds, we're going to see it cycle. And we'll run through this once or twice, just so you understand how it works. So as we can see, it brought in the IPD 401 to the main view here. And then we have our other channels staggered throughout in as we set them. And again, back to the IPC 4K 18 BMZ. And this will go on infinitely until we hit the stop button down here, which we'll do right now. And then close all our videos and kind of run back through it again. So for the outdoor plan, we had set up just two views and that was a, a, a four camera grid view and we had it cycle between these two. If you had an eight channel NVR, you could have this cycle through your first four channels and then have view two cycle through your second four channels. Then for the eight channel cycle, you could ha potentially have one camera be big and then have in cycle two, have a second, you know, channel two be big, cycle three, channel three be big, so on and so forth. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.